Hello, my internet friend. Today's video is a little different. As you can tell from this backdrop, it is almost 10 p.m. at night. I didn't really want to film today because this past week I've been feeling pretty deflated and discouraged. But thinking to myself all day today, not filming the worst part of this journey makes myself feel like I'm glamorizing it. So here I am. How I convince myself to film this video is so that I can film while I fold my laundry. All right, let's get started. I, I think it could be pretty obvious why I feel <laughs> discouraged. The first and the foremost reason is that I heard back from the company that I did the technical interview for and I didn't pass a technical interview. The worst part about that rejection was that it came in a form of an automated email. <laughs> it's fine, it's just a little disappointing. Naturally, after seeing the automated email telling me that I didn't pass technical interview was a devastating hit for me. Despite not having extremely high expectations, I gave myself a little bit of grace and decided that I was just gonna sulk on Thursday. So I uh, finished work and I did nothing else. I went directly to bed. I cried <laughs> for like maybe a minute or two and then I took a nap. The second reason is that I've sent out 70 some applications now and I've only had two interviews. So the conversion rate of my interviews is lower than 3%. Now, 3% is good for click-through rate. It's not good for when you're trying to apply for jobs. I have heard from more than one person that the job market is extremely tough. And to be honest, initially I was extremely skeptical because I feel like the job market is almost like the economy. Regardless of how good it is, people can still complain about how it's not good or not good enough. There have been no concrete data that I'm aware of that shows, hey, here's the number of jobs openings for data related positions. And here are the number of applicants that are trying to pursue these data jobs. And, and there's a massive unbalance between the two. I have not seen that. Maybe it exists. I just haven't seen it. So I was extremely skeptical. But now, after diving into so many Reddit rabbit holes and applying to so many jobs and not hearing back myself, I am less skeptical now. I feel like what I have been doing since six weeks ago is not working or is not working as effectively as I think it should. But the problem for me now is what needs to change. I have thought about a couple things. The first one being that, you know, maybe I should go back to grad school again, except for computer science this time. The second thing I thought of is maybe I should just go get a job in supply chain instead, but supply chain for a company that has data science positions so that I have in the future an opportunity to pivot into it once I have established myself and my skills within the company. And the third option is that I do both together. I get a job in supply chain in a company with data science or data analyst positions. And in the meantime, I go get a graduate degree in computer science. And the fourth thing obviously is just to keep doing what I'm doing now, 
people say job searching is a numbers game. So maybe I just haven't hit the right number for me yet. Clearly, as you can see, I have a lot going through my mind right now in terms of options and things that I could do. Each of these options has their own upsides and downsides, but what's giving me the most anxiety is not what I know. Instead, it's what I don't know. So take the grad school as an example, right? What if I go to school now, I spend a load of money and two years minimum of my time to get a degree only to find out that after I get out with a master's degree, the market is so competitive that even with a degree, I still can't find a job. Then what do I do? At that point, I'm down like $70,000 and I may not get my ROI on my tuition. And take the second option as an example. Sure, I can go find a job in supply chain in a company with both data science and or data analyst positions, but who's to say that I can actually pivot over? And further, the opportunities that I'm describing, supply chain in a company with data science and or data analyst positions, there aren't as many as I thought there would be. And also just kind of a side topic is that to add on to all of this, there has been changes at my work. So I don't know how it's going to shake out, but I want to put myself in a position that if anything were to happen to my org, to my job, to myself, honestly, just anything that's unfavorable, I want to make sure that I have a backup plan. I think in the back of my mind, I'm just like pushing myself and kind of creating a doomsday for myself. It's like, oh my God, you have to find a job now or it's going to be over. You're going to, without a job, you're going to be miserable looking for jobs every day. So there's also that. Is that irrational? No, it is not. And I'm fully aware of that, but it doesn't stop me from overthinking it. So having said all of that, I don't think I found a way out yet. I don't know which option I need to prioritize first. I just don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out soon. In the meantime, I will still continue to apply to the jobs that catch my eye, whether it's to be a data scientist or data analyst or supply chain related. And maybe while I'm trying to figure things out, maybe I hit my number and I get an, another interview and magically I pass the interview. But I think we both know that the probability of that is low. <laughs> I'm just lost and confused and discouraged and deflated. And I am sharing all of that with you. It's not pretty. I am fully aware, but you know, it's part of the journey and I'm going through it. Somebody else must also be going through it. And even if it helps one person, then it's worth it. And with that, we are almost done with folding our laundry. I call that a win. We killed two birds with one stone. I honestly have no idea if any of what I said just now makes any sense at all, but it's out. So thank you for taking the time to listen to my struggles. I will hopefully have figured out something out by next week. No guarantees, but I will see you back here again soon. Bye.